Hi guys, this is Fusion Design 1 or Val uh, with tutorial number 3, uh, which I'll be covering advanced uh, smudging. Uh, so let me quickly say if you're watching this on iGraphic Master's channel, click in the link, maybe give me a sub, like, comment, whatever you want. Uh, and if you're watching this on the tutorial community, which is a community I've recently joined, uh, Click on the click on the link in the description. Maybe give me a sub if you enjoy this tutorial. Leave some comments uh, suggesting more tutorials. Uh, I do After Effects, Photoshop, uh, Cinema 4D, and Cubase 5. I'm sure you all know a bit about them all, but yeah, whatever you want me to do. Uh, so let's get straight into it. Okay, so let's open the the photos. Uh, we're gonna do this one today. Uh, I use this in my uh, speed art entry to shift arts contest. If you haven't seen that, maybe uh, go to my channel, watch it. Uh, maybe give me some feedback on it, whether you like it or not. But yeah, let's start. Okay. Smudge. So smudging is the kind of flow of the bo the motion kind of kind of I don't know maybe leftover of the like kind of showing where the imp the person was before. So since he's moving that way to the right, uh, that means they'll he'll leave a kind of a motion track behind them on the left. So that's what effectively what smudging is. So a lot of people just take the smudge. The smudge brush, grab this, you know, this chalk brush, and then start going like that. And they they think it's you know, ah, oh, looks looks alright. I mean, it does. Sometimes it can look alright, but very very rarely. So yeah, seem to have messed up the image somehow. So I mean tutorials, something always goes wrong. Uh, sorry, uh, I don't know why I tried to plan this one. Uh, okay, that's the last thing that goes wrong with this tutorial. Uh, so, yep. So I explained to you what it was. Uh, that was. That's not very good smudging, basically. Uh, what you want to do to have good smudging to make it look good, click the smudge tool, go on to uh, the soft, the small hard brush, maybe around eight pixels, thirty percent of strength, and then you yeah, want to start kind of giving it a bit of, not too much but a bit of only on the edges of things <coughs> remember you have to pull it to the left because if you pull it to the right it just looks kinda rubbish uh, I haven't done this or I haven't made a duplicate image yet but remember always you should do that uh, in case something goes wrong that you need to start in the beginning uh, so yeah that kinda, that's the kinda beginning of it, remember, 30% strength, 8 pixels on the second brush, uh, a little bit more to get the color flowing, Maybe it kind of look like he's scraping before, uh, oops, yeah, that's alright, uh, and then next what you want to do, because that, that looks alright, it looks pretty good for the first bit, uh, and what you want to do is go to the chalk button, chalk brush, sorry, uh, make it, you know, a bit bigger. Uh, yeah, that's good. 
uh, keep the strength at 30%. Now you're going to add some shape dynamics, 100% uh, size jitter, angle jitter of around 20%, which I always use, which is why it's like that already. Scattering, uh, yeah, around, you know, about here, about there. You don't want to go like that because it's too straight. You don't want to go like that because it's too far apart and you can't control it. So, about there. About there looks good. Um, so, yeah, then start kind of smudging. Uh, it adds kind of a grime, grime effect to it. Uh, and it looks it looks quite nice, but that's what I personally think. Uh, so this is yeah, this is stage two, the three stage kind of idea of smudging. Uh, looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, uh, so. Remember, 30%, add the shape dynamics, 100%, 0, 20%, uh, around 160 to 190% uh, of scatter. Turn, oh, transfer, I forgot, transfer. Uh, you want to keep the strength of jitter on 100%. Uh, so yeah, it looks... Yeah, it looks it looks pretty good. Um, and then the third part, you're gonna wanna go back to the uh, first br brush you use, um, make it you know pretty small because this will be using for the fingers. So you kind of wanna make it the same size as the fingers. Uh, make sure it's on eighty percent this time, or you know around there. Okay, this is a little bit big, but so if you have it too big, it just looks horrible. Maybe three. Uh, okay, let's maybe zoom in a little bit. Not very good resolution picture. Sorry about it, but yeah, I didn't want to use that. You know, the overused image, but you know, the dancer. Kinda, yeah, kind of adds a bit of effect, you know, with the fingers. It looks, it's, it's, it's very small, but you can see it. It's there, and it's, it looks. It kind of shows the strength of the motion, how fast he's moving. Um, next, uh, you could even do it maybe if he has kind of a string or something hanging down from here you could like make it move or if he's wearing short sleeve uh, tr what do you call them, a uh, jacket or a t-shirt you can pull it and kind of maybe wrap it wrap it around his arm and then eventually touch one of his fingers you know you, you use come up with your own thing uh, but the finger thing is just the basic stuff uh, Okay, so it's not been too long. Uh, then what you're gonna want to do is go onto the make a new layer. Uh, go onto the brush. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I have a bad cough. And so uh, choose a a brush, uh, a smoke brush you have. Uh, I'm gonna choose. Pretty simple one. Uh, far too small. That's still too small. That's alright. It's not a very good brush, but yeah. Uh, now, for the shoes, you'd want it to be white, or maybe not white because it's really fair. You want it the same color as the shoes, which is that. So, click the, and then add, you can add like kind of different parts to it, and then maybe, you know, turn a little bit, add there, add there, 
and turn it again and add a part there uh, there and oh, no. okay and then and then uh, take your what are this called again I drop a tool um, and get the block do it again here do the same stuff you can, you can obviously change the brush for something else to add a bit of uh, variety into your work uh, and then once you've you know added those parts because this is a new layer you'll be able to use the eraser tool and erase the parts you don't like so personally I don't like that part there and this is a bit long so is that uh, that's a bit too long uh, see these this one and the one that was here were too similar to be close to each other so maybe shorten this to add a bit of variety That looks a lot better. Um, so, yeah, um, I don't know why I clicked that. Uh, yeah, uh, so, that is actual pixels. So, I think that the final, the, the image looks quite nice. And obviously, uh, like I did in my speed art, uh, you can add the logo and add some nice smudging to it or you can even add text for that fact. Uh, you can write, I don't know what, what you want to write. Uh, smudge, like I did. Uh, so it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't look great, but the text. I should have changed in my speed out, but it doesn't matter for now. Uh, Oh yeah, the text will not let you uh, smudge it until you race, rasterize it. You could either just do it by that and clicking OK, or you could go right click rasterize layer first. Uh, so yeah, kind of play around with this. I'm sure you could come, you can come up with something. Kind of maybe pull it up a little bit. Remember, for this part, for text you only want it pretty weak. You don't want it to be too drastic. Uh, maybe the S because it's one of those like letters which come and go to one side. So look around the S. Uh, yeah. So. This kind of thing with the text is pretty like standard, simple way of doing it. Uh, they're much. It's not very. It's not very kind of. You're not changing a lot, but you can see that there's a difference, and I think for the better, as a bit of kind of meaning to it. Um, yeah. I, so, that's the end of the tutorial, basically. Uh, you can, yeah, that, that's the end of the tutorial, basically. Um, so, if you're watching uh, this on the uh, tutorial community, be sure to click on the link in the description. Maybe give me a, hit me a sub if you enjoyed this, and leave a comment, please, telling me what tutorial you want next. Um, also, um, if you're watching this on iGraphic Masters channel and you liked it, maybe uh, hit it, give it a like. Uh, PM me if you want any image, Im any GFX made. Uh, also, maybe hit me a sub if you liked it. Uh, okay, thanks, thanks guys. Uh, that's it for me, and goodbye.